Hello friend, I am Prajakta Bhor from Paragate Technology. In our previous video, we learned how to integrate Salesforce to SharePoint Online. This video will let you know how to create a batch class and what is the need of batch class. So let's start and first of all, what is the need of batch class? We need a batch class because if you want to perform a DML operation on thousand of record or if you want to fetch the thousand of records then it is very complex in Salesforce also yeah we have to maintain the governor limit so we will use the batch class in such a scenario where batch class will process record in batches asynchronously so let's start here I will tell you the in normal Apex class and in the batch context what's happened normally you can perform 100 SOQL queries in normal context but in case of batch context you can perform 200 SOQL queries per cycle also you can fetch only 50,000 of record by the SOQL queries and in batch context you can retrieve 50 millions of record so let's go to the syntax we will learn how to write the batch class First of all, very important thing is we have to implement database.batchable interface. When you write the database.batchable interface, it's mandatory to define three methods, start, execute and the finish method. So now, start method will return the database.getQuery locator. Now what is this get query locator? It is just like a cursor. Suppose take example, you have a 50 millions of record and you want to perform the update operation on a 50 millions of record, then the get query locator will point to the very first record. It will send a chunk of data to the execute method. Now the size of chunk we will define when we run the batch class, then we pass two parameter, the name and the second one will be the size of that chunk. So let's say I have defined the 200 size of my chunk, then I will send the get query locator will send a first 200 record to the execute method. Now my get query locator will point to the 200 and first record. It will again send the 200 record to the execute method. Execute method will perform the business logic or the logic that you want to perform and again it will send the next 200 record. Now it will point to the 400 of one record. Now in the execute method, it takes two parameters. First is database.batchable context. This is, will just contain a job ID. And the second parameter, the record that just passed by the get query locator. Now in the finish method, it will just perform the remaining formalities like sending an email. Now we will see how to write a batch class. I just have one example written and I'll open it. So I'll first tell you the scenario for which I'm writing a test uh, batch class. So let's take when I have a test record I'll say save. Again I will create a test record. Name will be the same and I'll say save. So I just want to perform the delete operation on my account where the record name is test record. This is what my requirement. So I'll write a batch class to save the time I have already written the example. Yeah and always remember to make our class global. So this is what my class global class and this is what the name of the batch class. I have implemented database.batchable interface and this is the constructor and let's come to the start method okay so here you can see it will return the database.get query locator that's why the data return data type is database.get query locator I have just some local variable and I have performed a, I want to perform a delete operation so first of all I fetch the record from the account where name is the test record now this database.getQuery locator will send the fetch record by the query to the execute method and in execute method I have just for each loop where I 
have just taken the record into my local list and I just say a delete that list okay and into the finish method I just want to send an email to the particular user and the address is this so I have used as a messaging dot single email messaging where I just defined some methods like set to address set subject set HTML body and in the same email I'll send the email so let's say save and now I will tell how to run the batch class so go to the developer console you can run your batch class through the developer console go to the debug and open execute anonymous window here you can see I have just written database dot execute batch this is what to use to run the batch class and it take two parameter first is the name of the batch class and second one will be the size of the chunk in which you want to send a records in which size so let's say execute and here you can see the status is success so come back to the account and I'll open the account so here you can see the test account is get deleted and simultaneously it's in an email that just I have written into the the body of the messaging dot single email message so this is very simple just a few point I like to mention here First of all, start, execute and finish method can implement up to 10 callouts only. Only one batch of a job start method can run at a time in your organization. The batch job that have run start yet that will remain in the queue. And execute and finish method will run only at a once but the execute method can run parallelly if you have one job is remaining in your organization. So thank you for watching this video guys. To know about us you can visit www.paragate.com. Thank you. Bye bye.